So I got a brand new pair of Hollister pants that were originally $44. I paid $2.60. I know y'all are gonna judge me, but I went back to Uptown Cheapscape 24 hours after I was there. I have a valid reason. It's because they were having their huge sale where a bunch of stuff is 80% off. I had just gone the day before, so I was not aware that this sale was happening. So I actually went to a different store's location to check out the sale. But I found some good stuff and I'm ready to share it with you guys because the deals were very good. On July 4th, it was things were marked at 80% off and anything else in the store that wasn't marked as 80% off, you could get 10% off, but only for that day. So I was like, I'll go check it out. I have the receipt here so I can remember the prices for you guys, but they're kind of vague descriptions. So this super cute blue Calvin Klein top, and it's like blue and black, which I thought the pattern was really fun. It also has built-in padding. That was one of the things. I'm not gonna buy a sports bra that doesn't have built-in padding. Even if it has a section where I could add in the padding, I personally am not trying to take out ones from others and add them in or go buy them. It has to already have it. So yeah, I got this one. I think it's super cute. It fits great. I really, really like it. Original tag they had on it was $15, but it was 80% off, so I only paid $3. Next thing, Gymshark leggings. Which I was really excited about these because I did get that red pair of Gymshark leggings and I had already worn them to a workout class and they were so comfortable. I really am enjoying Gymshark. And so when I saw a pair that was all black, perfect. I can get so much use out of a plain black pair. These were not in the 80% off. So I only got 10% off them, but I thought they were pretty fairly priced. So they were $17.99. So I got 10% off of $1.80. Ended up being $16.19 for them. And I was very, very happy until I got home and I tried them on, which I actually, I tried them on in the store, but I guess I just didn't notice. There is a super, 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 sorry, my contact is flipping out right now. There's a very, very tiny hole on the knee. And it honestly took me so long to notice that I don't even know if the employees noticed it. Like I, I genuinely don't think they were trying to just mark it down because there was a hole. Because at least in my experience, going to these stores i'm never really concerned about the holes like holes being in the clothes so i don't think they would have accepted it in the first place but you know i'm i'm being optimistic i guess but i was pretty bummed about it i'm still wearing them and such honestly i'm gonna keep wearing them until i guess the holes like really noticeable but they're super comfortable and i just like that they're solid black so but yeah a little bummed there i'm curious if y'all think that they knew the hole was there or not. Um, I can say this was the only product I saw later that, you know, had some kind of quality issue like that. The rest were good. Oh, okay. These are fun. These are Hollister pants. I haven't worn Hollister since I was in like middle school, but they kind of, I've heard they've had a revamp. Same with Abercrombie and they are kind of catering to an older audience or I guess growing with us, aging with us. So it has the original tag still on these. They're size small and it says US price was $44.95. So then these are hanging out at Uptown. Still have the tags on them, never been worn. Uptown was selling them for $12.99 and then they were 80% off. So I got a brand new pair of Hollister pants that were originally $44, almost $45 and I paid $2.60. And they were great work pants. They were nice and breathable. I feel like they still are fancy enough because they have pockets. So I just wore some like heels, like booties with heels on them. And I think I wore like a sweater with it. So it was still nice and dressed up, kind of worked with a business casual look. And I got a lot of compliments on them too. So I thought the quality was really good. I think they're a super cute pair. And I like that, although they're a light color. I was a little nervous sometimes with pants like this that they could be see-through, but it wasn't. The quality of it is really good. It was lined really well. So I'm very excited about this purchase. So I kind of grabbed it because one, it was in the 80% off section. Two, it was crocheted. And I'm really loving the crochet look right now. And although I kind of wanted a more neutral color for a crochet look, I did think this mint green was really pretty. So I decided to grab it. Now, the only thing I don't love is since it's not adjustable, it's very low in the back, like sits really, really low, but 
a couple days ago, my friend had a pool party and I just threw that over my swimsuit top and I just put that on with some tan shorts and I thought it was a really cute look and, you know, swimsuit outfits, cover-ups are one of those things where like, you know, if you have a low back and you're seeing a swimsuit, like it's not that weird compared to, you know, if I wore it out and about and I have my regular bra on, I feel like you can kind of get away with swimsuits more. So yeah, I really liked it. Also, the material is very soft and comfy. So it kind of feels like you're wearing like a PJ material. It wasn't on sale, but since it was only $3.99 and I got 10% off, I felt like it was still worth it because $3.99 was a good deal for the shirt. So I paid $3.59. Next is this really pretty, <laughs> I'm so excited, this really pretty purple with pink lace one. I love this shirt. I actually got two that are kind of similar style, but when I saw this, it just kind of screamed like baby doll, 90s, maybe like a Bratz outfit or something. It was something I needed to fulfill. I needed to own something like this. I thought it was so cute. It just reminded me so much of a 90s vibe. So went for it. I really like the cut as well. And they do have adjustable straps, which is nice. $4.99 and it was 80% off. So I only paid a dollar for it. One dollar. They're white jeans. And if I'm being honest, when I grabbed them, I thought they were more of like a boot cut, not necessarily skinny jeans. So I'm a little conflicted about them. The brand is called Universal Threads. I've never heard of that brand. They fit like a glove. They are really pretty for white pants. They look like they've never been worn. Like they are like pristine. And so I went back and forth a little bit on them, but since they were 80% off, they were originally $14.99. Since I was only paying 20%, it, they were $3. So I just thought, you know what? I like how they fit. I think they're cute. I don't own white pants. So even though they're not the exact style I was hoping for, $3 is a good deal. Let's go ahead and snatch it. So I did. Okay, this shirt I thought was so fun. This like zebra looking shirt. It's so grew 21, early 2000s. These straps though are not adjustable, which I think the height of it fits fine. So I don't mind, but I could see myself just throwing this tank top on with some shorts and just going out and about my day in the summer, which Texas summer is basically like seven months cause it gets warm here in like April and then it's warm until like late October. So you can get a lot of use out of it. I could also see myself wearing like some kind of tight pants or something and wearing it out to go to bars and whatnot. So it kind of works for whatever I'm needing. It was $9.99. 80% off, so I paid $2. I love deals. Deals on deals. Okay, I actually wore this shirt the other day when I went to, actually went to Chewy's with my sister and my cousin. Paired it with tan trouser slacks, some like white slip-on shoes. My sister Emma had gotten me a locket a long time ago, and I just thought the locket would match well with the kind of lacy, feminine, baby doll vibe of this shirt. So put that together. I thought it was really cute. If you want to see a selfie I had in it. Love, love, love this shirt. It's the same style as, you know, that purple and pink one, but I just really like the blue as well. I don't think the straps on this are adjustable. They're very thin straps too, so, but they felt sturdy. Like I wasn't worried they were gonna snap or anything. It also stayed in place really well. Like it did not slip at all once I had it on. This one was $5.99. It was 80% off, so I paid a dollar and 20 cents. I will say I did kind of impulse buy this skirt cause I could see myself wearing it out to like a bar or something when I go out with my friends, but I'm really not a skirt girl. I'm trying to wear more skirts. I have worn a few this past year, but I thought this was so fun. This bright orange with the white flowers on it. So pretty mini skirt and they had it for $4.99, 80% off. It was a dollar. I don't know what top I'd wear with it. So if you have any ideas, let me know with this fuzzy tank top. I remember when these were so cool in the 2000s. And of course it's like this greenish blue color, which is my favorite. So I had to snatch it up. The fit of it's really great though. I was surprised and it's so soft, very comfortable. And I could see myself wearing it honestly to sleep or just a casual outfit. But I'm really becoming a texture fan. I'm not really a pattern fan that much. I know I just showed you a skirt with a pattern but usually I don't like a lot of patterns on my clothes. So I, when I want something to be unique, I usually lean more towards texture versus patterns. $14.99, 80% off. 
I paid $3. 10 items, which we have tank tops, jeans, mini skirts, sports bra, leggings, all name brands, and like, you know, Calvin Klein sports bra, Gymshark leggings, all that fun stuff. Um, total that I paid was $38.87. And the total amount I saved was $69.32. I think that's exciting. I think that's really, really good. And I know I had recently done an Uptown video on my channel, so I hope you guys aren't bored of them, but that sale is just so iconic for Uptown. And just getting so many cute pieces for a dollar, three dollars, maybe five dollars at most, like the deals are just so good. I felt like I really needed to share that with you guys, especially if you're someone who you like to get new pieces, but you don't necessarily feel like you need to splurge a lot to get some cute clothes. I think Uptown, if you kind of keep your eye out for when they do these sales, I don't know if it's annually or bi-annually. Would that be the right term? Like twice a year? or once a year. But yeah, definitely keep your eye out for that kind of stuff. I think Plato's Closet maybe does something similar, but I think it's a great way to revamp your closet, especially if you are very passionate about, you know, reusing clothing, repurposing clothing, things like that. Um, yeah, I'm just so impressed. I think I got so many fun, unique, pieces let me know which piece of mine was your favorite that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed also hope you like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next one bye you should have just told me you aren't interested because now i look dumb because i'm over here thinking that you know you might be interested in me and we're working on seeing if we have anything between us but really you've already wrote us off and you're making out with a girl on a dock several times so I get her frustration. So there's already drama there, but yay, Robin and Leah are back together. But then here, Rob's blindfolded and Leah's handcuffed and Andrea comes over 